A girl called Noor buys an ice cream and wins a ticket to visit a sweet factory. Mm. <laughs> Noor is a fictional character in an animation made by an Israeli rights group. But the factory and its owner, Mohammed Talbani, are real. And so are the many problems operating under the blockade of Gaza by Israel and Egypt. Noor discovers them as Mohammed shows her around, starting with a power cut. Electricity is off most of the time in Gaza. During my visit, Mohammed explained that since the siege began 10 years ago, most of his production lines are closed most of the time. He didn't want to fire any of his 400 staff, their families depend on the wages. So employees had their hours cut instead. And, as the animation also shows, the machinery they use has problems too. Israeli authorities restrict the import of anything they say could be used to make weapons. The packaging's meant to be done automatically by this machine, but it needs a spare part from Turkey that's not been allowed in. This machine puts the cream filling in biscuits. It needs Turkish technicians to come here and service it. They're not allowed to come. This whole production line's been down for four years. Some of the equipment needs to be sent to Germany for servicing, and that's not allowed either. And Mohammed doesn't believe the restrictions are just for security reasons. It's the Israeli and it's very liar. This is do it to stop the industrial in the Gaza and to make the people it's very poor. That is the politic of Israel. Israel's military assaults on Gaza in its conflicts with Hamas haven't helped either. Three years ago, the factory was hit by an Israeli rocket. Mohammed gifts the sweet factory to Noor, but as she sees its problems, it becomes a story of shattered dreams. The rights group that made it, called Gisha, says it aimed to inform people but also challenge stereotypes. We wanted to be able to tell the story of movement restrictions on the Gaza Strip and do it in a creative way so that we could attract new audiences and open people's eyes to the fact that there is a different reality inside of the Gaza Strip than the one they normally hear. Business has also been hurt by Israeli restrictions on exports. Mohammed says trade won't pick up unless the siege ends. At the end of the film, Noor makes everything right with her imagination. In reality, things aren't so simple and Gaza's industries are still crippled. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, in the Gaza Strip.